In a chemical reaction, chemical equilibrium is the state in which both reactants and products are present in concentrations which have no further tendency to change with time, so that there is no observable change in the properties of the system. Usually, this state results when the forward reaction proceeds at the same rate as the reverse reaction. The reaction rates of the forward and backward reactions are generally not zero, but equal. Thus, there are no net changes in the concentrations of the reactants and products. Such a state is known as dynamic equilibrium. Topic historical introduction The concept of chemical equilibrium was developed after Berthollet 1803 found that some chemical reactions are reversible. For any reaction mixture to exist at equilibrium, the rates of the forward and backward reverse reactions are equal. In the following chemical equation with arrows pointing both ways to indicate equilibrium, A and B are reactant chemical species, S and T are product species, and alpha, beta, sigma, and tau are the stoichiometric coefficients of the respective reactants and products, alpha A plus beta B sigma S plus tau T T H E equilibrium concentration position of a reaction is said to lie far to the right if, at equilibrium, nearly all the reactants are consumed. Conversely the equilibrium position is said to be far to the left if hardly any product is formed from the reactants. Goldberg and Wage 1865, building on Berthollet's ideas, proposed the law of mass action, forward reaction rate equals K plus A alpha B beta backward reaction rate equals K minus S sigma T tau display style begin aligned text forward reaction rate and equals K underscore plus C E a carrot alpha C E B carrot beta text backward reaction rate and equals K underscore C E S carrot sigma C E T carrot tau end aligned where A, B, S and T are active masses and K plus and K minus are rate constants. Since at equilibrium forward and backward rates are equal K plus A alpha B beta equals K minus S sigma T tau Display style k underscore plus left c e o right caret alpha left c e b right caret beta equals k underscore left c e s right caret sigma left c e t right caret tau, and the ratio of the rate constants is also a constant, now known as an equilibrium constant. K c equals k plus k minus equals s sigma t tau a alpha b beta display style k underscore c equals frac k underscore plus k underscore equals frac c e s caret sigma c e t caret tau c e a caret alpha c e b caret beta by convention the products form the numerator. However, the law of mass action is valid only for concerted one-step reactions that proceed through a single transition state and is not valid in general because rate equations do not, in general, follow the stoichiometry of the reaction as Goldberg and Wage had proposed see, for example, nucleophilic aliphatic substitution by SN1 or reaction of hydrogen and bromine to form hydrogen bromide. Equality of forward and backward reaction rates, however, is a necessary condition for chemical equilibrium, though it is not sufficient to explain why equilibrium occurs. Despite the failure of this derivation, the equilibrium constant for a reaction is indeed a constant, independent of the activities of the various species involved, though it does depend on temperature as observed by the van t Hoff equation. Adding a catalyst will affect both the forward reaction and the reverse reaction in the same way and will not have an effect on the equilibrium constant. The catalyst will speed up both reactions thereby increasing the speed at which equilibrium is reached. Although the macroscopic equilibrium concentrations are constant in time, reactions do occur at the molecular level. For example, in the case of acetic acid dissolved in water and forming acetate and hydronium ions, CH3CO2H plus H2O CH3CO minus 2 plus H3O plus A proton may hop from one molecule of acetic acid onto a water molecule and then onto an acetate anion to form another molecule of acetic acid and leaving the number of acetic acid molecules unchanged. This is an example of dynamic equilibrium. 
Equilibria, like the rest of thermodynamics, are statistical phenomena, averages of microscopic behavior. Le Chatelier principle 1884 predicts the behavior of an equilibrium system when changes to its reaction conditions occur. If a dynamic equilibrium is disturbed by changing the conditions, the position of equilibrium moves to partially reverse the change. For example, adding more S from the outside will cause an excess of products, and the system will try to counteract this by increasing the reverse reaction and pushing the equilibrium point backward though the equilibrium constant will stay the same. If mineral acid is added to the acetic acid mixture, increasing the concentration of hydronium ion, the amount of dissociation must decrease as the reaction is driven to the left in accordance with this principle. This can also be deduced from the equilibrium constant expression for the reaction K equals CH 3 CO 2 minus H 3 O plus CH three CO two H display style K equals FRAC CE CH three CO two CE H three O plus CE CH three CO two H if H three O plus increases CH three CO two H must increase and CH three CO minus two must decrease. The H2O is left out, as it is the solvent and its concentration remains high and nearly constant. A quantitative version is given by the reaction quotient. J. W. Gibbs suggested in 1873 that equilibrium is attained when the Gibbs free energy of the system is at its minimum value assuming the reaction is carried out at constant temperature and pressure. What this means is that the derivative of the Gibbs energy with respect to reaction coordinate a measure of the extent of reaction that has occurred, ranging from zero for all reactants to a maximum for all products vanishes, signaling a stationary point. This derivative is called the reaction Gibbs energy or energy change and corresponds to the difference between the chemical potentials of reactants and products at the composition of the reaction mixture. This criterion is both necessary and sufficient. If a mixture is not at equilibrium, the liberation of the excess Gibbs energy or Helmholtz energy at constant volume reactions is the driving force for the composition of the mixture to change until equilibrium is reached. The equilibrium constant can be related to the standard Gibbs free energy change for the reaction by the equation delta R G equals minus R T Lane K E Q display style delta underscore R G caret ominous equals R T lane K underscore mathrm E Q, where R is the universal gas constant and T the temperature. When the reactants are dissolved in a medium of high ionic strength, the quotient of activity coefficients may be taken to be constant. In that case, the concentration quotient K C K C equals S sigma T tau a alpha B beta display style K underscore C E C equals frac C E S carrot sigma C E T carrot tau C E a carrot alpha C E B carrot beta where A is the concentration of A, etc., is independent of the analytical concentration of the reactants. For this reason, equilibrium constants for solutions are usually determined in media of high ionic strength. Kc varies with ionic strength, temperature and pressure, or volume. Likewise Kp for gases depends on partial pressure. These constants are easier to measure and encountered in high school chemistry courses. Thermodynamics At constant temperature and pressure, one must consider the Gibbs free energy, G, while at constant temperature and volume, one must consider the Helmholtz free energy, A, for the reaction, and at constant internal energy and volume, one must consider the entropy for the reaction, S. The constant volume case is important in geochemistry and atmospheric chemistry where pressure variations are significant. 
Note that, if reactants and products were in standard state completely pure, then there would be no reversibility and no equilibrium. Indeed, they would necessarily occupy disjoint volumes of space. The mixing of the products and reactants contributes a large entropy known as entropy of mixing to states containing equal mixture of products and reactants. The standard Gibbs energy change, together with the Gibbs energy of mixing, determine the equilibrium state. In this article, only the constant pressure case is considered. The relation between the Gibbs free energy and the equilibrium constant can be found by considering chemical potentials. At constant temperature and pressure, the Gibbs free energy, G, for the reaction depends only on the extent of reaction, xi, Greek letter xi, and can only decrease according to the second law of thermodynamics. It means that the derivative of G with Xi must be negative if the reaction happens, at the equilibrium the derivative being equal to zero. D G D Xi T P equals zero Display style left FRAC D G D Xi right underscore T P equals zero tilde equilibrium in order to meet the thermodynamic condition for equilibrium the gibbs energy must be stationary meaning that the derivative of g with respect to the extent of reaction xi must be zero it can be shown that in this case the sum of chemical potentials of the products is equal to the sum of those corresponding to the reactants therefore the sum of the gibbs energies of the reactants must be the equal to the sum of the gibbs energies of the products alpha mu plus beta mu b equals sigma mu s plus tau mu t display style alpha mu underscore mathrm a plus beta mu underscore mathrm b equals sigma mu underscore mathrm s plus tau mu underscore mathrm t where mu is in this case a partial molar Gibbs energy, a chemical potential. The chemical potential of a reagent A is a function of the activity a of that reagent. Mu a equals mu a plus R T lane a display style mu underscore mathrm a equals mu underscore a caret ominous plus rt lane mathrm a where mu oa is the standard chemical potential the definition of the gibbs energy equation interacts with the fundamental thermodynamic relation to produce d g equals v d p minus s d T plus I equals one K mu I D N I display style D G equals V D P S D T plus sum underscore I equals one carrot K mu underscore I D N underscore I Inserting dNi equals nu i d xi into the above equation gives a stoichiometric coefficient nu i display style nu underscore i tilde and a differential that denotes the reaction occurring once d xi. At constant pressure and temperature, the above equations can be written as d g d xi t p equals I equals one K mu I nu I equals delta R G T P Display style left frac d g d she right underscore t p equals sum underscore i equals one caret k mu underscore i nu underscore i equals delta underscore mathrm r g underscore t p, which is the Gibbs free energy change for the reaction. This results in delta r g t p equals Sigma mu s plus tau mu 
T minus alpha mu a minus beta mu b display style delta underscore mathrm r g underscore t p equals sigma mu underscore mathrm s plus tau mu underscore mathrm t alpha mu underscore mathrm a beta mu underscore mathrm b by substituting the chemical potentials delta r g t p equals sigma mu s plus tau mu t minus alpha mu a plus beta mu b plus sigma r t lane s plus tau r t lane t minus alpha r t lane a plus beta r t lane b Display style delta underscore mathrm r g underscore t p equals sigma mu underscore mathrm s caret ominous plus tau mu underscore mathrm t caret ominous alpha mu underscore mathrm a caret ominous plus beta mu underscore mathrm b caret ominous plus sigma r t lane mathrm s plus tau r t lane mathrm t alpha r t lane mathrm a plus beta r t lane mathrm b the relationship becomes delta r g t p equals i equals 1 k mu i nu i plus r t lane s sigma T tau a alpha b beta display style delta underscore mathrm r g underscore t p equals sum underscore i equals one caret k mu underscore i caret ominous nu underscore i plus r t lane f R A C Mathem S carrot sigma mathrm t carrot tau mathrm a carrot alpha mathrm b carrot beta i equals 1 k mu i nu i equals delta r g display style sum underscore i equals 1 caret k mu underscore i caret ominous nu underscore i equals delta underscore mathrm r g caret ominous which is the standard Gibbs energy change for the reaction that can be calculated using thermodynamical tables. The reaction quotient is defined as Q R equals S sigma T tau a alpha B beta Display style Q underscore mathrm R equals FRAC mathrm S carrot sigma mathrm T carrot tau mathrm a carrot alpha mathrm B carrot beta. Therefore D G D she T P equals delta R G T P equals delta r g plus r t lane q r display style left frac dg d she right underscore t p equals delta underscore mathrm r g underscore t p equals delta underscore mathrm r g caret ominous plus r t lane q underscore mathrm r at equilibrium d g d 
she T P equals Delta R G T P equals zero Display style left FRAC DG D she right underscore T P equals delta underscore mathem R G underscore T P equals zero leading to zero equals delta R G plus R T lane K E Q Display style zero equals delta underscore mathem r g caret ominous plus r t lane k underscore mathem e q and delta r g equals minus r t lane k e q Display style delta underscore mathem r g caret ominous equals r t lane k underscore mathem e q. Obtaining the value of the standard Gibbs energy change allows the calculation of the equilibrium constant. Topic: Addition of reactants or products. For a reactional system at equilibrium, Q r. topic keq she she eq if are modified activities of constituents the value of the reaction quotient changes and becomes different from the equilibrium constant qr does not equal keq d g d she t p equals delta R G plus R T lane Q R display style left frac D G D she right underscore T P equals delta underscore mathem R G caret ominous plus R T lane Q underscore mathem R tilde and delta R G equals minus r t lane k e q display style delta underscore mathrm r g caret ominous equals r t lane k underscore e q tilde then d g d she t p equals R T lane Q R K E Q display style left frac D G D she right underscore T P equals R T lane left frac Q underscore mathrm R K underscore mathrm E Q right tilde if activity of a reagent I increases Q R equals A J new J A I new I display style Q underscore mathrm R equals frac prod a underscore J caret new underscore J prod a underscore I caret new underscore I tilde the reaction quotient decreases. Then Q R K E Q display style Q underscore mathrm R and D G D she T P zero display style left frac D G D she right underscore T P the reaction will shift to the right, i.e. in the forward direction, and thus more products will form. If activity of a product J increases, then Q R greater than K E Q display style Q underscore mathrm R greater than K underscore mathrm E Q tilde and D G D she T P greater than zero display style left frac d g d she right underscore t p greater than zero tilde the reaction will shift to the left i.e. in the reverse direction and thus less products will form note that activities and equilibrium constants are dimensionless numbers
Topic: Treatment of activity. The expression for the equilibrium constant can be rewritten as the product of a concentration quotient Kc and an activity coefficient quotient gamma. K equals S sigma T tau a alpha b beta times gamma s sigma gamma t tau gamma a alpha gamma b beta equals k c gamma Display style k equals frac mathrm s caret sigma mathrm t caret tau mathrm a caret alpha mathrm b caret beta times frac gamma underscore mathrm s caret sigma gamma underscore mathrm t caret tau gamma underscore mathrm a caret alpha gamma underscore mathrm b caret beta equals k underscore mathrm c gamma a is the concentration of reagent a etc it is possible in principle to obtain values of the activity coefficients gamma for solutions equations such as the debye huckel equation or extensions such as davies equation specific ion interaction theory or pitzer equations may be used software below however this is not always possible it is common practice to assume that gamma is a constant, and to use the concentration quotient in place of the thermodynamic equilibrium constant. It is also general practice to use the term equilibrium constant instead of the more accurate concentration quotient. This practice will be followed here. For reactions in the gas phase partial pressure is used in place of concentration and fugacity coefficient in place of activity coefficient. In the real world, for example, when making ammonia in industry, fugacity coefficients must be taken into account. Fugacity, F, is the product of partial pressure and fugacity coefficient. The chemical potential of a species in the gas phase is given by μ equals μ plus R T lane F B A R equals mu plus R T lane P B A R plus R T lane gamma Display style mu equals mu caret ominous plus R T lane left frac f mathrm bar right equals mu caret ominous plus R T lane left frac p mathrm bar right plus R T lane gamma. So the general expression defining an equilibrium constant is valid for both solution and gas phases. Topic: Concentration quotients. In aqueous solution, equilibrium constants are usually determined in the presence of an inert electrolyte such as sodium nitrate sodium nitrate or potassium perchlorate potassium hypochlorite. The ionic strength of a solution is given by I equals 1 2 I equals 1 N C I Z I two display style I equals frac one two sum underscore I equals one caret n c underscore I z underscore I caret two, where c and z stand for the concentration and ionic charge of ion type I, and the sum is taken over all the n types of charged species in solution. When the concentration of dissolved salt is much higher than the analytical concentrations of the reagents, the ions originating from the dissolved salt determine the ionic strength, and the ionic strength is effectively constant. Since activity coefficients depend on ionic strength the activity coefficients of the species are effectively independent of concentration. Thus, the assumption that gamma is constant is justified. The concentration quotient is a simple multiple of the equilibrium constant. K C 
equals k gamma display style k underscore mathrm c equals frac k gamma however kc will vary with ionic strength if it is measured at a series of different ionic strengths the value can be extrapolated to zero ionic strength. The concentration quotient obtained in this manner is known, paradoxically, as a thermodynamic equilibrium constant. To use a published value of an equilibrium constant in conditions of ionic strength different from the conditions used in its determination, the value should be adjusted software below. Metastable mixtures A mixture may appear to have no tendency to change, though it is not at equilibrium. For example, a mixture of SO2 and O2 is metastable as there is a kinetic barrier to formation of the product, SO3. 2SO2 plus O2 2SO3 The barrier can be overcome when a catalyst is also present in the mixture as in the contact process, but the catalyst does not affect the equilibrium concentrations. Likewise, the formation of bicarbonate from carbon dioxide and water is very slow under normal conditions. CO2 plus 2H2O HCO minus 3 plus H3O plus but almost instantaneous in the presence of the catalytic enzyme carbonic anhydrase. <laughs> Pure substances When pure substances liquids or solids are involved in equilibria their activities do not appear in the equilibrium constant because their numerical values are considered one. Applying the general formula for an equilibrium constant to the specific case of a dilute solution of acetic acid in water one obtains CH3CO2H plus H2O CH3CO2 minus plus H3O plus K C equals C H three C O two minus H three O plus C H three C O two H H two O Display style k underscore mathrm c equals frac mathrm ch underscore three co underscore two caret h underscore three o caret plus mathrm ch underscore three co underscore two h h underscore two o. For all but very concentrated solutions, the water can be considered a pure liquid, and therefore it has an activity of one. The equilibrium constant expression is therefore usually written as K equals C H three C O two minus H three O plus C H three C O two H equals K C display style k equals frac mathrm ch underscore three co underscore two caret h underscore three o caret plus mathrm ch underscore three co underscore two h equals k underscore mathrm c. A particular case is the self-ionization of water itself. 2H2O H3O plus plus O minus because water is the solvent, and has an activity of 1, the self-ionization constant of water is defined as K W equals H plus O H minus display style K underscore mathrm W equals mathrm H caret plus O caret it is perfectly legitimate to write H plus for the hydronium ion concentration, since the state of solvation of the proton is constant in dilute solutions and so does not affect the equilibrium concentrations. Kw varies with variation in ionic strength and or temperature. The concentrations of H plus and O minus are not independent quantities. 
Most commonly O- is replaced by Kw H+ -1 in equilibrium constant expressions which would otherwise include hydroxide ion. Solids also do not appear in the equilibrium constant expression, if they are considered to be pure and thus their activities taken to be one. An example is the Boudouard reaction 2COCO2 plus CFOR which the equation without solid carbon is written as K C equals C O 2 C O 2 Display style k underscore mathrm c equals frac mathrm c o underscore two mathrm c o caret two. Topic: Multiple equilibria. Consider the case of a dibasic acid H two A. When dissolved in water, the mixture will contain H two A, Ha minus, and A two minus. This equilibrium can be split into two steps in each of which one proton is liberated. H 2 O minus minus ha minus plus H plus K 1 equals ha minus H plus H two a ha minus 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 a two minus plus H plus K two equals a two minus H plus ha minus display style begin array R L C E H two A ha carrot plus H plus and K underscore one equals F R A C C E ha H plus C E H two A C E ha A squared plus H plus and K underscore two equals F R A C C E a carrot two H plus C E ha and array K one and K two are examples of stepwise equilibrium constants. The overall equilibrium constant, beta d, is product of the stepwise constants. H2A minus minus A2 minus plus 2H plus display style CE H2A a carrot 2 plus 2H plus beta d equals a 2 minus H plus 2H2 a equals K 1 K two display style beta underscore C E D equals F R A C C E a carrot two H carrot plus squared C E H underscore two A equals K underscore one K underscore two. Note that these constants are dissociation constants because the products on the right hand side of the equilibrium expression are dissociation products. In many systems, it is preferable to use association constants. Two minus plus H plus minus minus ha minus beta one equals ha minus a two minus H plus a two minus plus 2 H plus minus minus H 2 of beta 2 equals H two A A two minus H plus two display style begin array L L C E a squared plus H plus ha and beta underscore one equals F R A C C E ha carrot C E a carrot two H plus C E a squared plus two H plus H two A and beta underscore two equals F R A C C E H two A C E a carrot two H plus squared end array beta one and beta two are examples of association constants clearly beta 1 topic 1 k2 and beta 2 
1 beta d log beta 1 topic pk2 and log beta 2 pk2 plus pk1 for multiple equilibrium systems also see theory of response reactions topic <laughs> effect of temperature the effect of changing temperature on an equilibrium constant is given by the van t hoff equation d lane k d t equals delta h m r t 2 display style frac d lane k dt equals frac delta h underscore mathrm m caret ominous rt caret 2 thus for exothermic reactions delta h is negative k decreases with an increase in temperature but for endothermic reactions delta h is positive k increases with an increased temperature an alternative formulation is d lane k d T minus one equals minus delta H M R display style frac d lane k d t caret minus one equals frac delta H underscore mathrm M caret ominous R. At first sight, this appears to offer a means of obtaining the standard molar enthalpy of the reaction by studying the variation of K with temperature. In practice, however, the method is unreliable because error propagation almost always gives very large errors on the values calculated in this way. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Effect of electric and magnetic fields. The effect of electric field on equilibrium has been studied by Manfred Eigen among others. Topic: <laughs> Types of equilibrium. In the gas phase, rocket engines. The industrial synthesis such as ammonia in the Haber-Bosch process depicted right takes place through a succession of equilibrium steps including adsorption processes. Atmospheric chemistry Seawater and other natural waters, chemical oceanography Distribution between two phases Log D distribution coefficient, important for pharmaceuticals where lipophilicity is a significant property of a drug Liquid-liquid extraction, ion exchange, chromatography Solubility product Uptake and release of oxygen by hemoglobin in blood Acid base equilibria, acid dissociation constant, hydrolysis, buffer solutions, indicators, acid base homeostasis, metal ligand complexation, sequestering agents, chelation therapy, MRI contrast reagents, Schlenk equilibrium, adduct formation, host guest chemistry, supramolecular chemistry, molecular recognition, dinitrogen tetroxide. In certain oscillating reactions, the approach to equilibrium is not asymptotically but in the form of a damped oscillation. The related Nernst equation in electrochemistry gives the difference in electrode potential as a function of redox concentrations. When molecules on each side of the equilibrium are able to further react irreversibly in secondary reactions, the final product ratio is determined according to the curtin hammett principle. In these applications, terms such as stability constant, formation constant, binding constant, affinity constant, association, dissociation constant are used. In biochemistry, it is common to give units for binding constants, which serve to define the concentration units used when the constant's value was determined. Topic. Composition of a mixture When the only equilibrium is that of the formation of a 1 to 1 adduct as the composition of a mixture, there are many ways that the composition of a mixture can be calculated. For example, see ice table for a traditional method of calculating the pH of a solution of a weak acid. There are three approaches to the general calculation of the composition of a mixture at equilibrium. 
The most basic approach is to manipulate the various equilibrium constants until the desired concentrations are expressed in terms of measured equilibrium constants equivalent to measuring chemical potentials and initial conditions. Minimize the Gibbs energy of the system. Satisfy the equation of mass balance. The equations of mass balance are simply statements that demonstrate that the total concentration of each reactant must be constant by the law of conservation of mass. Topic: <laughs> Mass balance equations. In general, the calculations are rather complicated or complex. For instance, in the case of a dibasic acid, H2A dissolved in water the two reactants can be specified as the conjugate base, A2- and the proton, H+. The following equations of mass balance could apply equally well to a base such as 1,2-diaminoethane, in which case the base itself is designated as the reactant A. T A equals A plus H A plus H two of display style T underscore mathem a equals mathem a plus ha plus H underscore two A T H equals H plus H A plus two H two of minus O H display style T underscore mathem H equals mathem H plus ha plus two H underscore two O O with ta the total concentration of species A note that it is customary to omit the ionic charges when writing and using these equations. When the equilibrium constants are known and the total concentrations are specified, there are two equations in two unknown free concentrations A and H. This follows from the fact that ha. Topic beta one a h h two a beta two a h two and o equals k w h minus one t a equals a plus beta one a h plus beta 2 a h 2 display style t underscore mathrm a equals mathrm a plus beta underscore 1 mathrm a h plus beta underscore 2 mathrm a h caret 2 t h equals h plus beta 1 a H plus two beta two A H two minus K W H minus one Display style T underscore mathem H equals mathem H plus beta underscore one mathem A H plus two beta underscore two mathem A H carrot two K underscore W mathem H carrot minus one. So the concentrations of the complexes are calculated from the free concentrations and the equilibrium constants. General expressions applicable to all systems with two reagents, A and B would be T a equals a plus i p i beta i a p i b q i display style t underscore mathrm a equals mathrm a plus sum underscore i p underscore i beta underscore i mathrm a caret p underscore i mathrm b caret q underscore i t b equals b plus i q i beta i a p I B Q I 
Display style t underscore mathrm b equals mathrm b plus sum underscore i q underscore i beta underscore i mathrm a caret p underscore i mathrm b caret q underscore i. It is easy to see how this can be extended to three or more reagents. Topic: Polybasic acids. The composition of solutions containing reactants A and H is easy to calculate as a function of pH. When H is known, the free concentration A is calculated from the mass balance equation in A. The diagram alongside shows an example of the hydrolysis of the aluminium Lewis acid Al3+ AQ shows the species concentrations for a 5 times 10 6m solution of an aluminium salt as a function of pH. Each concentration is shown as a percentage of the total aluminium. Topic: <inaudible> Solution and precipitation. The diagram above illustrates the point that a precipitate that is not one of the main species in the solution equilibrium may be formed. At pH just below 5.5, the main species present in a 5 μm solution of Al3 plus are aluminium hydroxides, aluminium hydroxide plus, aloe plus 2, and aluminium hydroxide plus 32, but on raising the pH, aluminium hydroxide precipitates from the solution. This occurs because aluminium hydroxide has a very large lattice energy. As the pH rises, more and more aluminium hydroxide comes out of solution. This is an example of Le Chatelier principle in action. Increasing the concentration of the hydroxide ion causes more aluminium hydroxide to precipitate, which removes hydroxide from the solution. When the hydroxide concentration becomes sufficiently high, the soluble aluminate, aluminium hydroxide 4, is formed. Another common instance where precipitation occurs is when a metal cation interacts with an anionic ligand to form an electrically neutral complex. If the complex is hydrophobic, it will precipitate out of water. This occurs with the nickel ion Ni2 plus and dimethylglyoxime, DMGH2. In this case, the lattice energy of the solid is not particularly large, but it greatly exceeds the energy of solvation of the molecule Ni2. Minimization of Gibbs energy At equilibrium, at a specified temperature and pressure, the Gibbs energy G is at a minimum. D G equals J equals 1 M mu J D N J equals 0 Display style dg equals sum underscore j equals one caret m mu underscore j dn underscore j equals zero. For a closed system, no particles may enter or leave, although they may combine in various ways. The total number of atoms of each element will remain constant. This means that the minimization above must be subjected to the constraints j equals one m a I J N J equals B I zero display style sum underscore J equals one carrot M A underscore I J N underscore J equals B underscore I carrot zero where Aij is the number of atoms of element I in molecule J and B0I is the total number of atoms of element I, which is a constant, since the system is closed. If there are a total of k types of atoms in the system, then there will be k such equations. If ions are involved, an additional row is added to the Aij matrix specifying the respective charge on each molecule which will sum to zero. This is a standard problem in optimization, known as constrained minimization. The most common method of solving it is using the method of Lagrange multipliers, also known as undetermined multipliers, though other methods may be used. Define G equals G plus I equals one K Lambda I J equals one M 
a i j n j minus b i 0 equals 0 Display style math call g equals g plus sum underscore i equals one carrot k lambda underscore i left sum underscore j equals one carrot m a underscore i j n underscore j b underscore i carrot zero right equals zero, where the lambda i are the Lagrange multipliers, one for each element. This allows each of the n j and lambda j to be treated independently, and it can be shown using the tools of multivariate calculus that the equilibrium condition is given by zero equals g n j equals mu j plus i equals one k lambda I A I J Display style zero equals FRAC partial math call G partial N underscore J equals mu underscore J plus sum underscore I equals one carrot K lambda underscore I A underscore I J zero equals G lambda I equals J equals 1 m a i j n j minus b i 0 Display style zero equals FRAC partial math call G partial lambda underscore I equals sum underscore J equals one carrot M A underscore I J N underscore J B underscore I carrot zero for proof C Lagrange multipliers. Closing parenthesis. This is a set of m plus k equations in m plus k unknowns, the n j and the lambda i, and may therefore be solved for the equilibrium concentrations n j as long as the chemical potentials are known as functions of the concentrations at the given temperature and pressure. See thermodynamic databases for pure substances. Note that the second equation is just the initial constraints for minimization. This method of calculating equilibrium chemical concentrations is useful for systems with a large number of different molecules. The use of k-atomic element conservation equations for the mass constraint is straightforward, and replaces the use of the stoichiometric coefficient equations. The results are consistent with those specified by chemical equations. For example, if equilibrium is specified by a single chemical equation, J equals zero m nu j r j equals 0 display style sum underscore j equals 0 caret m nu underscore j r underscore j equals 0 where nu j is the stoichiometric coefficient for the jth molecule negative for reactants positive for products and rj is the symbol for the jth molecule a properly balanced equation will obey j equals 1 m a i j nu j equals 0 Display style sum underscore j equals one carrot m a underscore i j nu underscore j equals zero. Multiplying the first equilibrium condition by nu j yields zero equals j equals one m nu j mu j plus j equals 1 m i equals 1 k nu j lambda i a i j equals j equals 1 m nu j mu j 
Display style zero equals sum underscore j equals one carrot m new underscore j mu underscore j plus sum underscore j equals one carrot m sum underscore i equals one carrot k new underscore j lambda underscore i a underscore i j equals sum underscore j equals one carrot m new underscore j mu underscore j as above defining delta g delta g equals j equals 1 m nu j mu j equals j equals 1 m nu j mu j plus r t lane r j equals delta g plus r t lane j equals 1 m r j new j equals delta g plus r t lane q r Display style delta g equals sum underscore j equals one carrot m new underscore j mu underscore j equals sum underscore j equals one carrot m new underscore j mu underscore j carrot ominous plus r t lane r underscore j equals delta g carrot ominous plus r t lane left prod underscore j equals one carrot m r underscore j carrot new underscore j right equals delta g carrot ominous plus r t lane q underscore r which will be zero at equilibrium equals equals see also